Hello everyone, I just want to do my due diligence here and take some time to remind everybody that our traditions seldom make sense, okay? So, to honor the victims of 9-11, that's one thing. To put the many more victims of our ongoing pandemic in some kind of memory hole is unforgivable. So, all I want to do is give a little bit of honor to everybody here. So we just want to observe COVID-19 is still killing hundreds of Americans daily. This is from the Wall Street Journal. This is no left-leaning le liberal publication. This is all about the money. And uh, we can skip a lot of the meat of this here. Just get to the data. We've almost got a 9-11's worth of deaths every week. It's just short of it. 2,700, 2,800, depends on the week, of course, but we're having a 9-11's worth of death almost every week. Still, you know, two and a half years into the entire ordeal, the vaccine is widely available, all of these tools, quote, quote, to be saving lives, but the percentage of COVID-19 deaths among those age 65 and older weekly uh, it's uh, going up and down. Something we shouldn't forget, you know, as we take our time to mourn the losses of 9-11. We should look at our more contemporary losses as well. They're ongoing, and we're not really doing anything about it because there's not as much of a spectacle, and it doesn't funnel us into a war. Or something like that. No, it's uh, it's not profitable to notice the deaths due to the disease because those are good deaths, all right? We want to soften labor conditions. Don't forget, we want to soften those labor market conditions. We want to lower wages. We want to get people out of the job, even though there are two jobs for every job seeker. Uh, we've got too much power in the hands of the workers, so we need to turn that around so it's good that they die of COVID, and if they get long COVID, then that's probably for the best because then they can be a nice cash cow for the insurers and big pharma. So that's all. Just keep an eye on this. It's not over. We celebrate 9-11, I'll say celebrate, and the Queen's death for that matter, who there are papers out there. I mean, she had COVID. She was a she had vitality. Sure, ninety six, old as hell. But you know, there's a substantial body of thought out there that uh, her COVID uh, lessened her time here, took her out a little earlier than uh, needed to be the case. But this is the new normal. All right, is a nine eleven's worth of deaths every week and no one knows no one cares because we've got other problems maybe as time goes on people will realize that bottom up top down through and through our systems don't make any sense and they're self-defeating and the internal contradictions are bringing the entire thing down we're part of those inter eternal and internal contradictions we we bear the sting of ideology we know what we're doing and still we do it all anyway or let these things happen anyway so i just thought i'd mention this just as many deaths as a 9-11 every week sometimes it's uh, closer to a day still all right, you see these peaks on the graph, and who's to say we won't have more of those, depending on what comes next. So public health matters, workers' rights matter, human lives matter. So uh, happy 9-11, everybody. Just something to think about.